what is going on you guys let's go ahead and start us off with some deep breaths okay i just want to tap into this energy that's coming through right now it is such a beautiful energy in this very moment that's all really what we get <laughs> identify your emotional triggers okay i'm getting that we are easily influenced we are getting easily influenced okay to be careful on what we are encouraging to be self-aware of what we are encouraging to be self-aware of what we are acknowledging that is a heavy energy i want to get into okay where we have been transmuting deeper wounds and an old belief system okay let's go ahead and start us off with some deep breaths if you are returning i love you guys so much and thank you for your support and if you are new we're gonna jump right into another reading here okay this is a collective reading tapping into some energies here okay and i'm solely solely basing this off of what my intuition is telling me okay some cards came out setting clear boundaries okay heavy on protection heavy on energy protection for the better, honey, heavy on energy, on setting clear boundaries on what you would like to share, okay, respectfully and kindly, collective. Okay, I also would like to mention heavy emphasis on our Pisces and our Cancer. Okay, I feel like a lot of what Libra season is bringing to us and the truth that comes with Libra season okay it is staring us staring us to a di different direction where creativity is an option and a lot of that is coming out okay and I do feel like and this is the energy that's coming up right now that while we may be realizing a lot about the ugly about ourselves and facing the ugly <laughs> that we have been experiencing okay and this i feel like have been so heavy for a lot of us and in realizing and in coming into truth and accepting about our flaws our ugly our mistakes why did we do this how could i ever treat this person this way why can't we get together I'm getting the song. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Right? Why is it always pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing? Okay, this is the energy that I'm getting. Why can't we be at um, a ground, common gr having common ground? Why can't we? why can't we meet in the middle here okay and this is where i feel like spirit is wanting us to know that there are a lot of things right now that may not feel so fair and just okay and this may be why thank you spirit i feel it right here and this may be why a lot of us are realizing the ugly about ourself okay that's where that's where it comes from the ugly that the ugly that we are seeing right now and the unfairness and the and the unjust okay this is our actions i'm getting this is our actions this is our behavior this is how we treat each other okay and i feel also heavily that it also starts from having to care for our mind our body our spirituality it starts from the mind and then outwardly Libra season has been i'm getting a stress and it's in our stomach a lot of us may also be having a lot of um bowel syndrome syndrome bowel movement okay issues um, 444 when I said that also. Um, you guys are having problem maybe even going to the bathroom. You're, you're also constantly using the restroom to urinate. Okay. 
there's something about your stomach here. There's something about your gut, okay? Something about the stomach, very significant right now. <sighs> Ooh, I feel it in, I feel it on my chest, okay. For a lot of us, we may be going through a phase where we are not expressing some things that needs to be expressed. And perhaps we're being held back but from certain energies from expressing this. <laughs> Whatever this is, define it as it is in your life right now. But I feel like it's, we have to, it's going to take you back to heavy, heavy soothing. Heavy, heavy soothing. Okay. And I want to repeat that because it's your body sometimes won't even tell you like you're not even aware some we are not aware sometimes and how much we're suppressing and the pain that we're suppressing you know and I feel like a lot of us in this season and this is what I'm picking up here okay a lot of us in this season maybe and have been suppressing okay Woo. okay it's like getting rid of shame getting rid of guilt getting rid of the lies getting rid of the betrayal getting rid of the deceit and a lot of it a lot of the betrayal a lot of the deceits okay getting rid of what is not adding value getting rid of the drama even the tiniest details getting rid of um your former ex your former whomever it is you want to call them getting rid of unhealthy habits it's literally transmuting transforming energies and this could be why I'm picking up so much on Pisces and our water signs because they are very transformative energy. And also our Scorpios, okay? This is what I'm getting. And while we may have been in this energy in this season where things need to be in place for it to be just and fair, right? Since things have been unbalanced okay this is the energy that's coming through you guys and so while it may be that okay here here we are with creating and stepping into innovation here we are with what is going to help everybody around us as well and not just one person i feel like this energy shift this change that we are all facing right now is very heavy on a lot of us and i'm hearing that it shouldn't be a surprise for a lot of you because you asked for it because you wanted to be here and it's here and then for a lot of you it's hitting you so hard that you're just waking up to it and you, you it's like you cannot even believe that you're here and so for a lot of you also as you are waking up to this truth whatever this truth means for you in your life right now you're realizing and i'm hearing the truth hurts but you're realizing that your plans didn't work out and you now realizing it's not working out and it wasn't supposed to work out and in this process of you having to plan it, you thought to yourself, and you even had a thought to yourself, and this is what's coming up, you guys, that it was gonna work out, your plan was gonna work out, but it did not work out. So it's like this change that you're facing, you may be thinking to yourself, and I'm following the rhythm here, that while you may be at a stop, or you may be at a complete stop, and now you're thinking to yourself, now I'm here. Everything that I had planned, I thought it was going to work out the way I wanted to, the way I had planned it and mapped it out in my head. But maybe this change, this tower moment is happening to a lot of us because that plan wasn't supposed to work out in the first place, you guys. This is becoming so heavy because it is dark for a lot of us. It is dark and I feel like I want to cry and it's very heavy on the chest. Okay, it is hard because the changes comes with a lot of truths. The truth hurts. The truth hurts 
so much. It's like a dagger through your heart. The number 10 when I said that. Because that's when you know either you've done wrong or you didn't do wrong. Either you've done something wrong, you've made a mistake, and that's why you're here. And you're looking at the change and you're going to yourself, I don't actually like the change. I don't actually like where I'm at. I feel like that's the energy I'm picking up for some of us. I don't actually like where, where I am. And then for a lot of you, it's a completely different turn. It's a, a completely different turn. For a lot of you, it's like, I'm hearing I was just following suit. I'm hearing I'm following suit and it had taken me here, okay. I'm following suit and it had taken me here. I didn't think that it would give me more than what I had asked. Holy crap. The Seven of Cups is like with the death card. Leaving you with so much. Leaving you literally tenfold. I'm getting and it's taking me back there again because I feel like I've mentioned this before in my readings. It is not about what you have but it's it's more about how you are using it right for all, like a lot of us we have the tools but we don't know how to use it and then for some of us it's like we've actually had to go through weird situations for me to get to get that thing I'm getting street smart. I've actually had to go and, you know, like putting myself in weird situations just so I can get this and that. It's like the hard work that comes with that. You actually have to go and talk to people. You actually have to go and do some work to get to people. I think I'm getting the hard work that comes with that and then leaving you with so much more in the end this seven of cups it's like what you get what you give is what you get i feel like it has a lot to do with the action and the being intentional you guys this is the energy that's coming up okay i want to pull up some more cards here before we wrap this up you guys can find me on tiktok also i um, post a lot on there as well on Instagram and I have all my information in the description box below if you would also like a mini reads private reads all of the information will be on there ooh heavy on protection heavy heavy on protection but also I feel like heavy on protecting family protecting friends And even protecting old friends. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, I have the white stag. Okay. We've come so far in, in self-actualizing. It's like this is our time to really get to know and tap into our gifts. That's amazing. Thank you guys for tuning in to another reading. My name is Kimber. I'm sending so much love and support. I'll see you guys in the next. Take care. Love and peace. Bye.